no news, or that's what killed the dog. One time there were two girlfriends, Lila and Lola. Lila and Lola went to elementary school together, junior high and high school. They married their high school sweethearts and they stayed together in the same southern town where they were born. Lila and Lola were the best of friends. But you know, sometimes there are problems in girlfriend relationships. And there was a problem in this one. You see, Lola loved the news. Oh, I just can't live without the news. And Lila, Lila did not like having a gossip as a best friend. In fact, Lila was sometimes the subject of the news. Well, it just so happened that at this time, Lola and her marriage were the subject of the news. Lola, honey, I think you should get out of town. All of this will blow over. Oh, I can't, I can't, I have to be here for the news. I need all the news. But you are the news, honey. You are the news. You and your marriage are the news and you need to get out of town. Oh, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't live without the news. Now, I promise, if you go up to the mountains for two weeks and then you come home, I promise to tell you all of the news. You promise? I promise. Oh, I don't know, Lila. I don't know if I can go. You can and you must. You must get out of town. Well, I know you're right. I know you're right. Okay. Tomorrow morning now, you meet me on the train platform and I'll go up to the mountains for two weeks. But when I come back, you're going to tell me all the news. I promise. I promise I'll tell you all the news. Okay. See you tomorrow. Well, the next morning, the two girlfriends, Lila and Lola, were together on the train platform and the train pulled into the station. And Lila had to push Lola up onto the train. Go on, honey, you can do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm missing the news. No, you won't. I promise to tell you all the news when you come home. Now get, get, get up on the train. Get up there. And then the train started to pull out of the station and there was Lola hanging out the window. Bye, Lila. Bye, honey. Don't forget all the news. Bye, Lola. See you in a couple weeks. Bye. Well, two weeks went by and the train pulled into the station and there was Lila like a good girlfriend waiting for Lola on the train platform. And before the train even came to a stop, Lola jumped off and said, Lila, Lila, honey, what's the news? What's the news? Now, now wait a minute, Lola. Don't you want to give me a kiss first? A hug? Ask me how I am? No, no, I need the news. I've been away. I need the news. Well, now, I didn't want to tell... Oh, wait. Now, really, no animals or people were harmed in the telling of this story. Well, Lola, while you were gone, your dog died. My dog died? How'd my dog die? Well, they think it was from eating some of the burnt horse flesh, honey. They think that's what killed your dog. Burnt horse flesh? How'd my dog get burnt horse flesh? Well, when your barn burned down, the horses and the cows were in there. The dog went in, ate some of the burnt horse flesh, honey. That's what killed your dog. My barn burned down? Well, why'd my barn burn down? Well, now... Lola, I didn't want to tell you all this right away, but you're just pestering me. Well, you know, it was a spark from the roof of the house, flew over to the barn, burned the barn down. The horses and the cows were in there. When the fire cooled off, the dog went in, ate some of the burnt horse flesh. Honey, that's what killed your dog. Spark? Spark from the roof of my house? Well, how'd my roof catch on fire? Well, they think it was from the drape, that the fire shot up the drape, up the wall, caught the roof of fire, spark from the roof, blew over the barn, burned the barn down, the horses and the cows were in there. When the fire cooled off, your dog went in, ate some of the burnt horse flesh, honey. That's what killed your dog. Drapes caught on fire? In my parlor? Well, yes, they think it was a little spark from the candle, caught the drape of fire, fire shot up the wall, caught the roof of fire, spark from the roof, blew over the barn, burned the barn down, horses and the cows were in there. Your dog went in, ate some of the burnt horse flesh, honey. That's what killed your dog. No.
No, my drape couldn't caught on fire. Well, how'd that happen? Well, you see, they put candles in your uh, your parlor, and a little spark from one of those candles caught the drape of fire, shot up the wall, caught the roof, fire spark from the roof, blew over the barn, burned the barn down, the horses and the cows were in there, and the fire cooled off. Your dog went in, ate some of the burnt horse flesh. Honey, that's what killed your dog. But Lila, I don't allow candles in my parlor. What were candles doing in my parlor? Well, Lola, they put candles around the coffin, and one of the sparks from one of those candles must have caught the drape of fire, shot up the wall, caught the roof of fire, spark from the roof, blew over the barn, burned the barn down, the horses and the cows were in there. When the fire cooled off, your dog went in, ate some of the burned horse flesh. Honey, that's what killed your dog. Candles? Around a coffin? Well, Lila, Lila, honey, who died? Now, now, Lola, I just didn't want to tell you this right off. But while you were gone, your mother-in-law died. My mother-in-law died? What a pity. Well, what'd she die of? Well, now they're not sure, but they think it was from finding out that your husband ran off with the cook, honey. But other than that, there ain't been no news. <laughs>